Cat patients have uh, generous hearts. Uh, this, at the beginning, was kind of amusing to say that because it, the, uh, it, it truly has been uh, uh, the case. However, uh, what we mean by generous hearts uh, that they have larger cavity hearts. Generally, their pulmonary arteries are larger. This translates into those reports that we get from radiologists that patient has a large pulmonary artery, and as a result, they have pulmonary hypertension, which used to be uh, one way to uh, screen patients with rheumatic fever uh, uh, three, four decades ago, as those young patients will come in with uh, large pulmonary arteries because of the rheumatic mitral uh, valve stenosis uh, or regurgitation. However, uh, that has been carried over to screening by cuspid patients and TAD patients, and we know that is not real the case. These patients have excellent uh, hemodynamics most of the time, and their pulmonary artery pressures are normal. However, the size of pulmonary arteries are big. Well, that also um, uh, similarly shows in their ventricles and mitral and tricuspid valves. Uh, patients may have uh, leakage from their mitral valve, tricuspid, uh, ventricles are a little larger, and that kind of uh, gives us food for thought that patients do need to be monitored uh, in terms of how much leakage from mitral and tricuspid they have, and that comes into the decision at the time of surgery whether they would need additional repair or to be followed then many years later. Uh, may need um, additional uh, surgeries. Now, uh, looking at the uh, heart, this is a picture of a normal heart, but I just wanted to give you a sort of an anatomical uh, view uh, of inside of the heart that you can see mitral valve is in proximity to the aortic valve here. This is really the strong pumping chamber of the heart. Um, and on the right side, which is a lower pressure system and pumps into the lung, you can see the relationship between the pulmonary uh, valve and tricuspid valve. Uh, bicuspid uh, uh, patients and TAD patients, they may have a larger mitral valve annulus. They may have larger uh, surface area. Uh, they might have more myxomatose, elongated uh, cordy. Uh, papillary muscles, the size of their uh, aortic valve can be uh, larger uh, because the annulus grows and gets bigger, and also uh, because of this progression of the diameter of any one of these valves, uh, the coaptation surface can decrease and they develop some uh, leakage. Uh, 